Merry Christmas Eve. It is the Eve of the Christmas. Uno mas. Day 11. 11 uh, golf balls are flying. I don't know, 12 and a dozen, but whatever. I took one. That's, Merry, thank, thank you for my Christmas present. I lost one yesterday in the water. <laughs> yeah, check out any of our review videos talking about balls doing that. Anyway, so a lot of people have a tendency, Aaron, when they get real excited about dropping their golf clubs and such, when they start to drop that yes. golf club, they get that right foot going a little too early maybe, or maybe they get a little slide going. Mm -hmm. See a lot of baseball, softball players doing that. Yep. They get to here, they think that they're back in their glory days, and wee, that's not really great for a golf yeah, swing. Yeah, they're throwing that out. They're getting... <laughs> They're getting losing contact right. very fast on the downswing and transition with that heel. You lose power when you do that. So we want to nice. try to stay a little more grounded in transition and keep our contact with the outside, inside, and heel of our back foot or trail foot or whatever you want to call right. it with the ground. So how do we do that? Uh, stick that little wedge under my heel. Is that my wedge? You stepping on my wedge? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you a new one for Christmas. Yeah, thanks. So, like I said, what we're looking for is to keep that contact there in transition. What you would see if you do it incorrectly is, and the wedge falls. Before impact. Yes, before impact. <laughs> we want that to stay down through impact and then fall after yep. impact. You want to hear the click of the ball, then drop with the club. Click, then fall. See if we can do it. Sound of the good as Jingle Bells do right now. Yep. Sorry, I'm being judgmental. I'm getting cold. A little turnover. I'm on the audio list, sorry. There you go. Merry Christmas Eve. Go to church. <laughs> go sing Go sing uh, Silent Night and read The Night Before Christmas. If you leave your cookies on your doorstep and tell me where you live, I'll come eat them for you. For that Comment below. For Is Die Hard really a Christmas movie? Hell yes, it's a Christmas movie. See y'all tomorrow.